Do you recycle in Reading? Yes, I recycle in Reading. I do recycle. I do recycle. I do recycle in Reading. I do recycle in Reading. Yes, I do recycle in Reading. I think recycling really helps the environment around us and it just supports like the community. A lot of people have no idea what happens to the material they put in their cart once it leaves the house. And I really feel that when people can see how it's actually handled and processed, they can understand the importance of putting the right thing in the cart and just have a better understanding of how much work it takes to actually separate all those items out so that they can actually be sold and recycled. Which of these items can be recycled? Aluminum cans or aluminum foil? Aluminum cans. Aluminum cans. Aluminum cans. Aluminum cans. Aluminum cans. Aluminum cans. Um, aluminum cans can be recycled. And everybody thinks an aluminum can or a pop bottle is recyclable, but they don't necessarily think that cardboard or tin or some of the other items we collect are recyclable. Well, we want to let people know what items can and can't go in their blue cart. It helps us do a better job on our end of sorting the material. It also will prevent machine breakdowns with when the wrong thing is placed in there and it's not pulled off in time. So what items do belong in the blue cart? Paper goes in the blue bin, like school paper and newspaper. Steel and tin cans, like a soup can. Glass bottles and jars. Just remember to remove the lid before you recycle. Aluminum cans, like your soda cans. Cardboard, like cereal boxes and cracker boxes. Plastic bottles. And finally, milk and water jugs. Now let's find out what you shouldn't put in the blue cart. Well, some of the worst things to put in the bins are anything in bags, any kind of ropes or hoses. Plastic bags from the grocery store. They are recyclable at the grocery store, but we can't take them here. We're not set up to process them. I see a lot of baby diapers, batteries, tools, all kinds of different metal. Honestly, I think that people use their recycling bin as a second trash can. Here are some other items that don't belong in the blue cart, like shredded paper or small pieces of paper. Pizza boxes. Only the clean side can be recycled. Separate the box and throw away the greasy side. Remember to separate the plastic from other items because this type of plastic can't be recycled in Reading. Which of these items can be recycled? A paper milk carton, a plastic milk jug, or both? Both. Plastic. Plastic paper milk carton. A plastic milk carton. Um, both. Plastic milk cartons. Um, plastic milk cartons. Now that we know what belongs in the blue cart, what's the proper way to set up the carts for pickup? Uh, that's a good question. How to properly place your bins at the curb is really important. Well, ideally, would be customers having their can out the night before. That way, when we get there, there's no collection issues. I look at everything that falls out, and if I see something obvious, I'm going to jump out and tag it. And then I leave these oops tags right here on their can. The arms of our truck spread out to pick up a cart, so we ask that your carts are always at least three feet apart and six feet away from any obstacles like a car or a mailbox, basketball hoops. Well, when people place their carts too close together or too close to an obstacle, there's a couple things that could happen. If the driver is able to and has time, he'll move the cart so he can empty it. If he's got a lot going on that day, he may not be able to stop to do that and get to get his route done on time, and your cart might not get emptied at all. Which of these items can be recycled? Clean food containers, dirty food containers, or both? Clean food containers. Both. Both. Probably a clean one. They can be dirty. Um, both. Clean food containers. Clean food containers. Remember to rinse all containers, because a dirty container has to be thrown away and unfortunately cannot be recycled. The recycling process. Let's see what happens to the recycling once it leaves your house. Once your carts are placed outside, a truck comes by and scoops them up. The truck then drops your material at the Reading Materials Recovery Facility. A loader pushes all the material onto a conveyor belt. The belts slowly move the materials to the first sorting line. This is the trash and cardboard sorting line. A group of workers separate the cardboard for recycling. Any trash that is accidentally mixed into the recycling is now pulled out and sent to the landfill. 
Then, the remaining material gets dropped onto these sorting discs. The lightweight material stays on top and gets taken to a paper line where workers remove the items that don't belong. For example, plastic bags, paper plates, napkins, paper towels, chip bags, and dryer sheets to make sure that only paper ends up in the paper bales. The sorting discs also separate the small pieces of glass. They fall to the very bottom and a machine called the cyclone sucks up the small pieces of paper that are collected and disposed of as trash. Just like in the paper line, a worker pulls out any non-glass materials so that only glass is left in the pile. The heavier items that fall through the sorting discs drop off into a lower conveyor belt that takes them to the far sort line, where materials are separated by type. There are separate bins for milk jugs, colored plastic like laundry detergent containers, soda bottles, and clear plastic. Then, steel and tin cans are pulled up from the sorting line by a magnet that drops them into their bin. The far bin holds aluminum cans. The glass items are taken off and separated by color before being thrown into a chute. The chute takes them outside and drops them into a glass crusher. Once all the items are separated, they're scooped onto a conveyor belt that feeds to a baler one material at a time. This is a recycled baler. It bales all the recycled products that the city collects. These bales probably average weight 960 to 1,200 pounds. Whatever we can bale here and recycle doesn't go in the landfill. It saves a lot of space, a lot of money, and it saves a lengthy time, but we can use that landfill for more. So now, the materials in your cart are sorted, separated, baled, and set out to be sold. Why is recycling important? Recycling is important because if we didn't recycle, then everything would just go to a landfill and we'd have landfills everywhere. It's important for the environment because if people didn't recycle, then there would be a whole bunch of trash everywhere. Well, we have a landfill and we have about 20 years on a landfill. I think for a kid, you know, 20 years seems like, wow, that's a long, a long, long ways out. But we know better that that's not really the case and you know, once it's gone, it's gone. And so reserving that as much of that as possible so that we have it to use is, is really important. I love my job. I think I'm making a difference in keeping things out of the landfill and, and making the earth a cleaner place. And I find that children honestly do a better job of recycling than adults by far because they, they just follow the rules. Recycling is important because it saves the world. I would like to recycle more because it's good for the environment and it's just such an easy thing to do. It just helps our nature and I would like to walk in a clean environment and just be able to not see trash set out everywhere. Every little bit helps. From a plastic bottle to a piece of cardboard, every little bit that's one thing that's not going to make it into the landfill and it all makes a difference. After the sorted materials leave Reading, these trucks take it to the recycling facilities that turn it into new products that we buy every day. To learn more about the do's and don'ts of recycling, visit our website at readingsolidwaste.net.